Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. The subject of this brief video, how to carry a wedding bouquet. Yes, how to carry a wedding bouquet. It's amazing how many people have problems with this. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about it. But first, let's give you some background. The concept of the bridal bouquet or wedding bouquet, it's been an evolutionary kind of thing. It originally started off with the idea of the bride carrying or wearing, originally, some sweet-smelling herbs. They would wear them initially, eventually they started to carry them. The concept was to scare away evil spirits. You don't want any evil spirits at your wedding. It's a good idea. And then it evolved. They started to come up with bridal bouquets where they would incorporate um, products, edible things, that would be thought to increase sexual desire. Things like dill. Hey, that's a good thing too. Very, very good in a wedding situation. And then, of course, flowers. The concept behind having flowers in the bridal bouquet was it represents fertility. Fertility, and that's also an important aspect. So that was one concept. Bridal bouquets evolved through the years. The Victorians had a whole unique symbol structure where certain flowers and certain colors stood for certain things and certain messages could be provided by the bridal bouquet and that's an interesting aspect of it. Today, we look at bridal bouquets in many different ways. Some people say that the purpose behind the bridal bouquet is to give the bride something to do with her hands and some of her party something to do with their hands during the ceremony. Others feel that the concept behind the modern bridal bouquet is to complement the entire setting, to complement the ceremony. Certainly, it's a great accessory that complements the bride's gown. And it's nice from that point of view. Also, modern bridal bouquets allow the bride to express her personality, the particular flowers she likes, the colors that she likes, the styles that she wants. All of these get incorporated in terms of her choices when she's picking her bouquet. Well, my viewer, this is all background information, so how do you carry them? You'd be amazed at how many brides the first time down the aisle have problems with this. So let's talk a little bit about that. First of all, what not to do. First of all, we don't want this, the shy look. No, not a good idea. And then there is the contemplative look, hmm. And then there's the bride who, I think I've got to carry this, but I'll keep it at arm's length. And then there's the bride, I need something to follow down this aisle or I'll never get down. And then my all-time favorite, the hooker look. None of these are ways that the bride should be carrying her flowers. Whether the bride is carrying a bouquet that's in a holder like this or a hand-tied bouquet, the technique is very simple. She's not holding it out at the side in front or looking at it or any of that stuff. She should be holding it either one hand or two hands. And although it's not my beauty, let me show you. Here, generally down around the waist. Around the waist, one-handed or two, is how the bridal bouquet should be carried. Pure simple, down at the waist, one hand or two. Well, my viewer, we covered a lot in a short period of time. We talked a little bit about the history and background and evolution of the concept of the bridal bouquet, and we gave you a few ways not to carry the bouquet and the correct way of carrying it. I hope that you enjoyed this brief video from all of us at Rittner's. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner of the Rittner Floral School in Boston. We thank you for coming in and visiting with us today.